What are the symptoms of kidney stones? Kidney stones often do not cause any symptoms. Usually, the first symptom of a kidney stone is extreme pain, which begins suddenly when a stone moves in the urinary tract and blocks the flow of urine. Typically, a person feels a sharp, cramping pain in the back and side in the area of the kidney or in the lower abdomen. Sometimes, nausea and vomiting occur. Later, pain may spread to the groin. If the stone is too large to pass easily, pain continues as the muscles in the wall of the narrow ureter try to squeeze the stone into the bladder. As the stone moves and the body tries to push it out, blood may appear in the urine, making the urine pink. As the stone moves down the ureter closer to the bladder, a person may feel the need to urinate more often or feel a burning sensation during urination. If fever and chills accompany any of these symptoms, an infection may be present. In this case, a person should contact a doctor immediately. Diagnosis of Kidney Stones Sometimes, silent stones, those that do not cause any symptoms, are found on X-rays taken during a general health exam. If the stones are small, they will often pass out of the body unnoticed. Often kidney stones are found on an x-ray or ultrasound taken of someone who complains of blood in the urine or sudden pain. These diagnostic images give the doctor a valuable information about the stone's size and location. Blood and urine tests help detect any abnormal substance that might promote stone formation. The doctor may decide to scan the urinary system using a special test called a computerized tomography, CT scan or an intravenous pyelogram. The results of all these tests help determine the proper treatment. Prevention of Kidney Stones A person who has had more than one kidney stone may be likely to form another. So if possible, prevention is important. To help determine their cause, the doctor will order laboratory tests including urine and blood tests. The doctor will also ask about the patient's medical history, occupation and eating habits. If a stone has been removed or if the patient has passed a stone and saved it, a stone analysis by the laboratory may help the doctor in planning treatment. The doctor may ask the patient to collect urine for 24 hours after a stone has passed or been removed. For a 24-hour urine collection, the patient is given a large container which is to be refrigerated between trips to the bathroom. The collection is used to measure urine volume and levels of acidity, calcium, sodium, uric acid, oxalate, citrate, and creatinine, a product of muscle metabolism. The doctor will use this information to determine the cause of the stone. A second 24-hour urine collection may be needed to determine whether the prescribed treatment is working. Foods and drinks containing oxalate People prone to forming calcium oxalate stones may be asked by the doctor to limit or avoid certain foods 
if their urine contains an excess of oxalate. High oxalate foods, higher or lower. Rhubarb, spinach, beets, Swiss card, wheat germ, soybean crackers, peanuts, okra, chocolate, black Indian tea, sweet potatoes. Foods that have medium amounts of oxalate may be eaten in limited amounts. Medium oxalate foods Grits Grapes Celery Green pepper Red raspberries Fruitcake Strawberries Marmalade Liver